First of all, tomorrow I have a haircut appointment and an eyebrow appointment and I'm going canning, so don't look at me today, okay? Because I am just at my worst. I'm at the bare minimum. So we're not doing that. We're just not gonna look at me today. This is gonna be kind of a different type of video than you guys are used to. I've never really like opened up to you guys and talked to you about uh, hmm, like when I have really bad anxiety. I mean, sure, I'll be like, oh, I had anxiety last week, so I didn't post whatever, but I've never really like explained the reasoning behind it. I, I, don't, I don't even think I really know it. Today, I'm just gonna be talking about it and I guess you guys can make what you want of it. You guys can be my therapist. I guess. Instead of just sitting here and talking to the camera though, I'm gonna do like a day in my life video and then voice over it with my talking. So it's gonna be an interesting type of video. I think um, Danny Cimarelli, well, Danny Cagliero, I don't know how to say her new last name. She uh, does this type of video a lot. You know, it's definitely not my style, but for what I'm gonna be talking about today, I think it's perfect. It's perfect style. Um, and I really enjoy watching her videos. So if you ever see this Danny, I love you. I'm in a way, I'm in a good place right now. Like we're, I'm a lot better now. We're, we're doing, we're doing good. My apartment's a wreck, so I gotta start with uh, cleaning that. But mentally, I'm doing a lot better. I'm back on like the grind. I actually filmed and have two videos edited already. There's gonna be a lot of videos this month. So don't worry. It's just gonna be a voiceover of me running errands and living my day. So if you guys, you know, if you're doing your makeup or if you're, Clipping your toenails, I don't know. Whatever you're doing, um, you don't have to watch this video, you can just listen. But yeah, I'm starting to really like the quality of this camera. I mean, it is just great. But honestly, don't look too close because eyebrows, tan, haircut, all tomorrow. Really quick, I just wanna say, this is not sponsored by the way, but on April 14th at 8 p.m. Eastern time, I'm going live on Super. Again, I already did it once uh, for those of you who were there. If you don't know what Super is, I'm leaving a link for it in the description down below. Basically, I go live and I could call you guys like up on stage, meaning like I could see your faces too. As many of you guys as I want. Um, and if you want, of course, you can not show your face if you want. I played games with you guys and I sent money to the winners. So, so Thursday, April 14th at 8 p.m p.m. Eastern time. The link is gonna be in the description down below. I'm also gonna be posting it on my Instagram story um, so you can follow me there. And I'm sending money to the winners, so it's a lot of fun. No stress, just fun vibes, okay? All right, now let's get into this video. I'm not saying I have seasonal depression. I'm just saying that every year around the same time, I get really, really sad. <laughs> Which I know sounds a lot like seasonal depression, but when I think of depression, I think you're hopeless, you don't see a future, there's no way out, you know what I mean? But in the back of my head, I always know like I'm very happy with where my life is, I'm happy with where my life is going, I know I have a positive future, it's just in the moment, I don't know what the hell is going on. So I think it's more of like seasonal anxiety, and it always happens to me. It usually starts in February and goes till maybe April. It's been the main reason for my lack of videos lately, okay? Last year, it was the same exact thing. However, last year I had a lot of contractual agreements, sponsorships that I had to get done. And this year I did not. You know, as you grow on YouTube, you get more sponsorships. Sometimes you have less sponsorships. In my case, I got less sponsorships, but equal to more money. Like each sponsorship was a lot more money than they were last year, but I got less. So I'm actually making more money this year, but the way my brain works, like I wasn't processing that. I literally spiraled out of control and every day I was like going on Indeed looking for a new job, which is just ridiculous because I have so many of you guys that care about me and tune in to whatever bullshit I post on the internet. But something in my brain doesn't let that click around March to April every year, which is so weird. Is that not weird? And then I start getting like crazy anxiety. And when I get anxiety, it's not like, I don't have anxiety attacks. I don't have panic attacks. It's hard to explain, but my face gets like really, really heavy. And I feel like I can't make any facial expressions. And then I don't want to see people because I don't want them to think I'm being mean, but I literally, my face is just stiff and numb and heavy. And I just want to lay down. And look, anxiety is valid. My anxiety is valid. Your anxiety is valid. But it took me, like I had to sit down and calculate how much money I was making every month to realize like, Andrew, you're literally making just as much, if not more every month than you were last year. <laughs> it's just, you're doing less work. So as of right now, I think I'm doing great. I'm really coming out of it. I'm filming a lot. This is actually the third video I've filmed this week. Next year, I just really wanna focus on not making this happen because it is such a setback 
I do wind up making less money because I get anxiety that I'm not making money and then I stop posting videos and hello, YouTube is my source of income. And you guys know I've always done YouTube just for the fun of it. It is my passion. I love it. I have so much fun doing it. But at a certain point, I did say, okay, I'm making more money on YouTube than I am anywhere else. I'm going to leave whatever other work I'm doing and I'm just going to focus on my YouTube channel. So, you know, at that point, it becomes more stressful. If you do have a bad week, a bad month, and you don't post, you're not making money. I never really talk about my age, but guys, I'm turning 30 this year. Like I'm old as hell. I have bills. I have student loans. I have rent. I live in New York. I have a car. Me and Zach want to get married soon, have a kid. Like I have to be making money. I can't be one of those YouTubers who just sit there and live off the sponsorships I made last year. I mean, I can, it just would not be smart for me. So I always want to keep working. And the fact of the matter is I didn't get sponsorships for maybe a month. And I felt like my world was ending and my career was over. I never cared about the money doing this. So that was really sad for me because I was like, why am I not making YouTube videos just because I'm not making money? But really the reason was I want to make YouTube videos, but I have to figure my life out because I have to keep making money for my life, for my future family. And so I was like, YouTube can wait, which is so dumb because YouTube is making me a great amount of money. It's just, I'm getting less sponsorships that are equal to more money. I'm literally doing less work where I could take that extra free time and be creative with it. But instead I'm like, oh my God, I don't have as many sponsorships. Let me lay in bed for fucking three weeks weeks and cry about it, which is silly. But again, anxiety is anxiety and it comes at the weirdest times and there's nothing we can really do about it. But that's where I've kind of been the past two months. I've had really, really bad anxiety and I didn't know how to shake it. The way I'm going to deal with it now is to just film and be creative because I know in the end, that is all that makes me happy. And while I'm doing that, the money will come. And I'm just being very open and real with you guys about the money aspect of it because I mean, write this on my tombstone. I did YouTube for like nine years with no money. Finally, I'm making money. And yes, I left my real job for YouTube. So now the money does matter because it is my income, period. I don't want you guys to think I'm just all money hungry. It's just stressful when you have rent and stuff. My problem is just comparing. In this case, I was comparing myself to the amount of sponsorships I got last year, but really I'm always comparing myself to other YouTubers and how much money they're really making. I don't know why I'm comparing myself to that because listen, in what is it, 2012, I saved up money, I bought a camera and I started making YouTube videos. And now at this point, you know, I'm turning 30 this year. I'm doing really good for myself and I should be proud. I shouldn't be putting myself down because I'm not making as much money as these YouTubers who have millions of followers. Like I should be proud of myself. I think it's just weird living a real life and having a following on the internet because obviously my life is you guys, the internet, I love it. But in real life, I'm not like big enough to the point where anyone around me gives a fuck about my YouTube channel. Literally no one talks about it. People are still asking like, what's your plan? And like, yes, I know like this can all end tomorrow, next week, next year, I have a plan. But like, I think that plays a big part in it feeling less important than it is. The fact that people around me don't really give a fuck that I have a YouTube channel, they just like me for me, which I would 1000% prefer it that way. But like in my normal conversations in everyday life, my YouTube channel does not come up. Like I know people very well who don't even know I have a YouTube channel. I guess in the back of my mind, it makes it feel like it's less important. But bottom line is I should be very, proud of how far I've come and what I've made of this. My goal for 2022 was to either be filming or editing every single day, you know, besides like the weekends, of course. And I brutally failed at that, as you can tell, but I really want to start doing that going forward. As I said, I don't know what these next few months are gonna have in store for me because I have a lot of really good things going on, which you guys will find out about. I just wanna get back on track. No, no, you know what? I was never on track with that New Year's resolution, but I wanna be filming or editing every single day. That's another thing. It's kind of hard to like film and be like crazy energetic every day when like no one around you matches your energy. I don't mean that in a terrible way. Like obviously Zach, my family, I'm talking about them and I love them so much, but they don't have YouTube channels. And when you're on YouTube, you have to have a certain energy. My family, Zach, they, they don't have YouTube channels. So they're normal people, <laughs> which is amazing. It's just hard to film because like I don't live in LA around a whole bunch of other creators who are high energy, have like embellished reactions. Can I say that? Embellished reactions? Overreact for things because in the end that's what entertainment is. That's what TV is. That's what YouTube is. It's overreacting. I feel like over time I've kind of dulled down a little and it's gotten harder for me to be like that because 
I don't really have friends in YouTube anymore. Um, I have Sam, but she lives across the country and I'm surrounded by real people who I love very much. I love vlogging, but do I want every single video to be of me getting in the car, driving to get a coffee and then going to Target? Absolutely not. I wanna do more than that. And sometimes that's hard when you're filming alone. <laughs> I really want to make good content. It's my passion, I love it, and I wanna have fun while I'm doing it. A lot of times YouTubers come on these serious talks and they're like, I'm sick of like being this high energetic person. Like, no, that is the real me, and I want to get back to that. I want to find that person again. I feel like that person has been getting dulled down lately, and I don't want that to happen. I don't want him to lose his spark. When you're doing this all alone, you work for yourself, it's really hard to know when to turn it off. It's like, tomorrow I'm working, but before you film and edit, you have to, you have to Think of a video concept. Think of funny things to do, funny things to say. Think of the way you're gonna edit it. Think of the video shot by shot, you know, what you're gonna film in order. So it's like, do I do that tomorrow at 9 a.m. when I, in quotes, clock in? Or do I think of that tonight so tomorrow I can actually get to work? Because, you know, waking up at 9 a.m. sitting at my computer desk, thinking, literally just thinking, planning out a video does not feel like work to me. And then like, I feel like I'm doing nothing. But then at the same time, it's like tonight when I lay in bed, do I plan the whole video? Because then I feel like I'm working in bed. So I don't know, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, this is all like what I've been thinking lately, but I'm really starting to come out of it now. So, you know, we're, we're getting, I'm dancing right now. I know you can't see me, but I'm dancing. Um, we're, we're getting into the flow of things, okay? We're gonna bring old Andrew back. A lot of you guys probably don't know the real old Andrew, the crazy energetic old Andrew, because it's been a few years. But you know, I <laughs> these past couple of months, I've lost almost 30 pounds and I'm getting healthy. I'm feeling good. Things are looking up. I don't know. I just want to have a real talk with you guys. And I got real. I talked about money. I talked about my mental state. And I wanted to, you know, I'm never really that open with you guys. And you deserve it because you guys are always interested and there for me. And I don't know why I can't see that. That's not fair to you guys. You know, I sit here and I worry that no one likes my videos and no one watches me. But there's a core 25,000 of you that watch every single one of my videos, which is insane. I'm not validating you guys. I'm literally, there's 25,000 of you who are sitting waiting for me to post and watch every Every single video and I have the nerve to say no one watches my videos. That's fucked up. But I love you guys and I realize that and I appreciate it so much and I, I cannot tell you how much it means to me, for real. Ugh, it's getting serious. Ugh. I wanted to give you guys a little peek inside my brain these last couple of months before I start just posting normal videos again. Let me know what videos you guys like to see me film and don't say, oh, I love watching anything you post. I love you guys to death and I appreciate that, but it's not helping me. I wanna make videos you guys really enjoy. So maybe give me an idea and also tell me a video I've made that's your favorite. Don't say anything paranormal or with the soul siblings. <laughs> Please, that was four years ago, we're past that. Give me a new video idea and a video I've made in the last year or two that was your favorite and that you just loved. I cannot tell you how much you guys mean to me and I love you guys so much. I don't know how many people are gonna click on this serious video, but if you're here and you've made it this far, I adore you. For real and you guys changed my life you know i may not have millions of subscribers or make millions of dollars but i'm low-key making good money i work for myself when i want i turned my hobby my passion into work and you know when you when you love what you no what is it when you love what you do you're never working a day in your life right that's that's the saying but yeah let's get to filming let's get to creating let's get to editing okay i love you guys toodles